this was the prophecy of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that when Imam, that is faith, will disappear and go high in the sky as far as the star Suraya. I couldn't get the English translation for Suraya. Yes, what was that? We worked it out. Pledis. Pledis, Pledis. Then there will appear a person from the people of that land where mm -hmm. one of his Paris companion named Hazrat Suleiman, a Farsi, Allah, originated and bring back the true faith. Would Hazur kindly explain as to how this prophecy was fulfilled in the person of the promised Messiah? I have explained it so many times, haven't I? Quite a few times. So if there is something ambiguous about previous, uh, my previous explanations, you better throw a particular light on the subject from that angle, that I have not understood this much and please kindly explain that. Otherwise I have said so many times, I have spoken on this so many times. You go to the microphone, please, yes. Uh, uh, the promised Messiah belonged to the Mughliya family. And uh, uh, I was not, uh, I'm not uh, very poor in history to know which uh, proper place those Mughals came uh, in the land. <coughs> I have also spoken on this aspect that Iran of today was not the Iran of the days of Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa Sallallahu The geography keeps on changing like history. It broadens and it uh, contracts its border, the borders of a country. So the geography is a constantly changing phenomena. When you look back at the time of Hazrat Akram Sallallahu Alaihi you will be surprised to find that uh, the Eastern Empire, that is the Iranian Empire, was so wide and so great that it covered a large part of China as well. Or Mongolia entirely and then a part of China. Not a large part of China, but Mongolia and uh, some parts, uh, regions which are now in China, they were in uh, Iran. Regions which are now in, Afghan in Russia, they made part of this empire. So parts of Afghanistan were also within this great Iranian empire. So when Hazur Akram sallallahu alayhi wa sallam refers to Hazrat Salman Farsi and says that he will belong to the same people as he, this Salman Farsi belongs to, then he is speaking of a very wide country. And in the context of the geography of this country, at that time when the words were spoken, it could be any place. It could even be some people from the Chinese origin. And also it could, it may, it could have meant Fars, the province of Iran, and, uh, or any other region of Iran. So it's a very wide thing, a very wide application. In Islam has written that in physical form, Jisman Paul, he is the Israelite. And clearly and spiritually he says that I, I, I belong to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So I think when the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, said Farsi Lassal, uh, Salman Farsi, it means that Israelite people were also living, so it is not necessary that uh, the promised Messiah was actually from the Mongolian race. No, why do you exclude the Mongolians from Israelites? Or why do you um, conceive that uh, Hazrat Ibrahim Salaam's uh, progeny did not spread as far as China. What is the reason of precluding this this possibility? I do not know, sir. But 
I, I, I don't know either. Generally, we are told that the fact the is that the, the, the promise which was given to Hazrat Ibrahim was that Allah would spread his progeny into in the entire world. Into the entire world. And uh, that is what has really happened. And those those were who those who were born of Hazrat uh, Ishaq and uh, the the race which followed, it spread out far and wide. Some mentions are made in the Bible, and some are not. But from the account in the Bible, we understand that they keep on migrating from one place to another, and they spread out to various countries within a very short time. So that prophecy must have been fulfilled and we fully believe that some of those might have gone and settled in China or nearby areas and Hazrat Masih could as well be, could possibly be um, the progeny of Hazrat Ishaq I think But uh, it is possible in the sense that historically it cannot be gainsaid Otherwise, we know because he, when he was told, he, we, it must be correct. Because this book is written very late. So, I think what he has written in this Eqalatika uh, Izala is also a late edition. So, in, in that one, what he says is Salah. It is more authentic than the previous one. And also, I have found that in your. No, but they don't disagree with each other. That's yeah. the point. Yeah. And these because things they don't disagree. You are speaking of a very vast area and time. Four and a half thousand years are a lot of time. Or uh, is it four and a half or more? No, about up six thousand. Up to Hazrat Ibrahim, Rai Salatu Six thousand. Six thousand? No. Less than that. Between four and five thousand. Nearer to five and five thousand or maybe in between the two. Hazrat uh, Moses was uh, nineteen hundred years before Ahazra sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and uh, at 14 33 so how much before Hazrat Musa was Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi wa sallam Hazrat Musa alayhi wa sallam there was a different 600 years between Hazrat Ishaq and Hazrat Ibrahim uh, so add another 600, that would make it 3900 or about 4000. And plus, uh, plus uh, the distance between Hazrat Yusuf والسلام, and Hazrat Ishaq. So that would be about, uh, shall we call it 60 years or so? Yes. So, about over 4,000 years. No, I am Yaqub, I am talking about Yaqub. Yaqub was the son of Yusuf and Ishaq. He was the son of Yusuf and Ishaq. He was the son of Yusuf and Ishaq. Was there a lot of people in your family? No, Khan Kalaf was the son of Yusuf and Ishaq. He was the son of Yusuf and Ishaq. I'd say anything else, any other question, please. Shri Yasab, you have finished with your question, haven't you? <laughs> well, I, after, afterwards, first, uh, please. Salim al-Haq, Khan. As-salamu so, uh, Firstly, the first question, which was about the manuscripts of Hazrat Masih Ma'adullah Salaam. Uh, I heard uh, that uh, these are preserved in British Library, and uh, I went there in Indian manuscript, uh, um, Manuscripts? Yeah. Books. Books, perhaps. You are, what do you think manuscripts are? Uh, written by Hazrat Muslim Adr. Uh, his uh, own hand, in his own yeah. handwriting. Yes. They are preserved in this library here? Yeah, uh, uh, because uh, Malik Khalil told huh? me. Museum of books. Huh? books. Is it the books? Books? books. That's different. Huh? So he said, uh, anyway, I went there and they said. Uh, anyway, why should you say anyway? The books are different. <laughs> Books are different and manuscripts are different, so your question is dropped. Yeah. Like, so you sit so down. This was not question. Uh, sit down along with your question. So this was not question. This was <laughs> so <laughs> the question is 
Acha, all right, please.